cycle is real. Shit, that was so stupid. I'm trying to save energy using this energy saver outlet and it fucks us. It's saving us energy for sure. How are we gonna save the world? <laughs> it saves us energy it because energy it doesn't our... work. So it just turned off all our fans and computer monitors. That's how it saves energy. You guys saw your merchandise here? Or is it going on like... Yeah, we saw it. We don't have like a, our storefront set up yet. Yeah. But you could just look on your phone like on our website. He's picking up uh, an I screw, I nut, I bolt shirt. Good choice, bro. But yeah, guys, again, you guys are more than welcome to come down to the storefront if you guys are local and you guys get to save some money on shipping. You guys get to meet us, hang out with us for a little bit. One quick thing that I did want to mention is we have been getting a ton of support with our back to school mystery box. Thank you guys so much for those orders so far. One thing though that we have been having an issue with is we have been about one week late on some of the back to school mystery packs. And the reason being for that is because our backpack supplier was late on their shipment. And so it pushed us back a week on some of your orders. So we sincerely apologize for that. We're doing everything that we can right now to get the orders out. As you guys can see here, you know, Marvin's killing it. He's He's been working literally 12 hours a day, every day to get your guys' orders out, along with Angel and Brian. Another Brian, not me, but they're at lunch right now. We're doing our absolute best to get all of your orders out. This problem should be resolved within the next week and then we're gonna be back up to speed. But now that the bad news is out of the way, the good news is the first little thing that I'm gonna do to the RX-7 is going down today. Finally able to start working on it. I'm super pumped for everything that we're about to do to the car. And we're gonna wait to work on it until later on in the day though. It's 106 degrees out here in Riverside and it's just, it's ridiculous. You step back in this warehouse, you immediately start sweating. I'm gonna get some work done right now and then me and Ivan are gonna get started on that car in a little bit. And we just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Yo, Ivan, we just hit 5,000 subscribers. Bro, that's sick, man. Now we need 95,000 more. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. What's going we on? We just hit 5,000 subscribers. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. We just need uh, <laughs> 995,000 more of you guys <laughs> to reach our goal. So <laughs> keep it coming. I mean, 5,000 seems like a small amount, but the rate that we're growing at, you know, for us, it's something that we were super uncomfortable to even start. So the fact that there's 5,000 of you out there that want to watch our day is amazing. Dude, it's too fucking high. These here. fucking seats, bro. Oh my god. My back is sweaty. Fuck this California. It's ridiculous. You went with the tofu? Tofu. Why, Ivan? You guys know that new documentary on Netflix? It's called uh, What the Health? Don't fucking watch yeah. it. But then you start eating tofu. This is the right. first time I've ever eaten tofu in my life. So, so if you like it. It's alright. This is gonna be real chicken now. But I fucked up, guys. Don't watch the documentary. I'm gonna have to try one of these. Great, it tastes. That That's not gonna work. There it is. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Alright. Oh! <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Oh, that's funky, dude. It's nice. like squishy. That's too funky for me, dude. Never again. No, oh, thank you. It's go time. So we got yeah, the the, the crimping tool, the battery holder for the trunk, and then we got the wiring. Cool. The start. The long, long process. You need to take this off. Yeah, like, guys, I I'm guess. I'm low-key going to leave this, so, so if I get pulled over, hopefully the cops just like... You work for this. What is it? So, so you work for the Department of Self Defense. <laughs> you would believe me too. Yeah. You guys, Brian, since he's white, he works for the government. Yeah. <laughs> white people work for the government. Oh, Department of Defense. Oh, six one white guy. Oh, you're good. yeah, you're good. It's been a long day, so I don't know if we're gonna finish today, but we're definitely gonna start with the battery relocation, and it works out convenient for me too because, like, in a, like I said in the last video, I wanted to switch my passenger seat with my driver's seat because for some reason the passenger seat is a little wider than the driver's seat so that's convenient for us and we're gonna get started on that right now 
Oil leaks, man. Some kind of oil leak in the car after we moved it right here. It's likely it's just something simple though. Probably just the gasket's loose somewhere, but we'll figure that out. We'll, That'll be a yeah, another day. We'll figure it out. Where's the assembly line? Screwdriver. But come on, and then I like this shit. Screwdriver. <laughs> screwdriver, motherfucker. <laughs> Actually, you guys, I don't think it has screwdrivers. No. <laughs> yeah, we got a car garage, but we don't have a fucking screwdriver. Uh, I guess I don't. I guess Are you that. kidding me? You're serious? There you go. I got you. I got you. Oh choice. my god, dude. Sick. <laughs> All right. Well, first things first. I gotta take this front license plate off because that shit is ugly. Dude. Look at all these bolts for a fucking. Holy shit! <laughs> How does that all that whole that does this? That makes. That's retarded, dude. Well, Took me know. fucking ten minutes to take Jeez. off a front license plate. All right, got this license plate off. We got the seats out. We gotta disconnect the battery real quick so that we don't electrocute ourselves. Yeah, so when you guys are moving the battery, you guys gotta make sure that you move all of the excess pieces out of the way when you move it, because you don't want them to hit. You don't want them to make contact with the battery. Oh, this thing's snug. Oh, Boom. I just gonna show you guys this. Look at this engineering. It's like a, I don't know, handmade bracket. They, you can see it was cut here, cut here, and then it's held on by this bolt right here, like on this cross member bar radiator support thing. Doesn't look good, so that's why we're moving this to the back. There it is. Look at this piece of shit. Oh, well, DIY works sometimes. Look at, look at that. Look how much more room there is. Looks so much better. So luckily for us, when I bought the car, it's already methanol injected, so they already had to put a hole somewhere along the firewall to get to the trunk. So we're gonna try to locate that hole right now so we can use that same hole to wire the battery to the trunk. Right now I'm taking all these panels so that way I can clear all this area so I can route that uh, a zero gauge uh, wire for that, that battery we're, we're, we're relocating to the trunk here. <laughs> that we're relocating. <laughs> this should be the final pop to get this off. Fuck yeah. Look at all this wiring. What is all this shit? So it's running. Oh, they ran it through the middle console? Mm-hmm. And then overlapped it over? Yeah, and, sh and it's connected to the center. They don't shoot it underneath like right here, though? I'm pretty sure. So what I'm gonna do is take the center console out and then get back here and disconnect the stereo. We're literally having to take out like every interior piece to get this wire through to the back. Cause those aren't the easiest cars to disassemble, I'll tell you that. So just a little update on the car. We've removed a lot of the interior panels on the car. We're leaving this interior part the way it is because we're gonna be putting in a uh, stereo system in the next couple days or next week or sometime soon, we're putting that in. And back here, uh, we noticed that they were using an amplifier for the, the power circuit for the methanol injection was connected to an amp, which is kind of the ghetto rig style to do it. Basically the guy I bought the car from, he had the signal and the power wires for the methanol injection connected to this amp right here. So I don't know why they would do that, but basically what we're going to, going to do probably another day is connect the power to a, reli a more reliable source. Oh, that's the signal. We're going to connect the power to a more reliable source, which will probably be the cigarette lighter. And the signal's got to connect to wherever the signal is connected to and the blue wire you know, following it back to the cabin whatever it's attached to that's what we're going to attach the signal wire to as well <laughs> never take shortcuts do it right the first time and always the first time and that's our motto here and of course we're getting both of piece of shit all right guys so me and brian we started off our day by doing a simple battery relocation <laughs> kit uh which definitely went a different direction so um, we started removing the power wire, which then we found out led up to an amp. So then we removed all that, and then we figured out that the amp was being used to power and signal somehow the methanol kit. So now we have to rewire that. And while we were disassembling the interior, the interior panels, 
um, we decided to dis disassemble everything because we are also going to be installing an aftermarket uh, double din stereo for the RX-7. Uh, so basically we started three projects and... So to make a long story short, we ended up with this. <laughs> no seats, no cluster, no panels, no... Just everything is out. Insane. Everything's exposed. Alright guys, to end out the video, the giveaway winner as always is... So congratulations to you. Remember guys, every video, just make sure that you guys leave a comment below and in our next video we will pick a winner. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe. We just hit 5,000 subscribers today, so thank you guys so much. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do so. And until next time guys, peace out. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.